What does URP look like pathologically? Here we have a URP pattern under low power, and a lot of times you can have a fair idea, even under low power, that you're dealing with a URP pattern. The first thing to note is the heterogeneity. What we mean by that is different things happening in different parts of the lung. Here you see more normal alveolar within the center of the lung. You get a sense that there's subpleural fibrosis, all that pink um, shown towards the right is subpleural fibrosis. And then you see microscopic honeycomb cysts amongst the subpleural fibrosis. So right away, when you see this under low power, you are strongly suspicious that this might be URP. As you go under higher power, you see the transition between normal and abnormal lung. And it's usually, or oftentimes, a sharp demarcation between what we're seeing with a thin-walled alveolar sac, sacs towards the, the, the lower left side of, of this uh, particular photograph and more dense fibrosis up towards the upper right panel between 12 o'clock and uh, 3 or 6 o'clock. Under even higher power, the bluish areas of cells you can see, these spindle-shaped cells, are the fibroblasts. They typically occur in, in foci altogether, and a lot of times you'll see these fibroblastic foci at the interface between abnormal and normal lungs. So this is the, the marching front of the disease. It's a fibroblast that laid down the collagen that subsequently goes on to form the fibrosis. Here we see microscopic honeycombing. You can see these cysts in, within dense fibrosis. Typically, they're lined by bronchio, bronchiolar epithelium, and they can uh, vary in their size as well as how many occur in, uh, together. They can occur like uh, pools of water, so to speak, or lakes seen at a distance. But this is a good example of honeycomb cysts.